Lethbridge, Alberta is known for its wide prairie landscapes and towering bridge, but the city is much more than its breathtaking vistas. Located two hours south of Calgary, it's home to a diverse and growing community. In this episode of Why I Love, three local filmmakers introduce us to some of the people who make Lethbridge a great place to live. Yash Senda built his famous judo gym in Lethbridge, and it has reached international success. Now a new generation is carrying on his legacy. My name is Troy Galant. Uh, hi, I'm Carter Altos. It's Charlize Medellis. I'm Evelyn Beaton. I personally, I like, I don't do anything the night before. I just sleep early that night and wake up early. I eat breakfast and listen to music for, for my fights. That's all I do before my fights. Anything after is whatever, but before my fights, it's literally just me. Rap, hip hop, something that's gonna pump me up, yeah. The thrill of the competition, I love traveling internationally and competing for my team, my country, it's one of the best feelings. Uh, the big start of a match is always a lot of nerves, like I don't know if I'm going to beat this guy, even though I beat him last tournament, I don't know if I'm going to beat this guy this time, maybe he's got something new. There's always like that nerves at the beginning of a match. Middle of the match is kind of, you kind of go blank almost, you just listen to what your coach says and you just fight for your life basically. End of the match obviously results in how you did that match, so if you lost, so there's a lot of emotion. When you win, though, it's it's pretty, it's a good high. Um, I'm very anxious when I compete because sometimes I get like the little sudden hints of doubt if I can compete well enough and if I can win the match. But as soon as I get onto the mat and like I'm ready and like focused, then I know I can win pretty easily. So. Okay, can I just ask a question? Like, how far back? Like, there's two tournaments in a week, one in Quebec, one in Ontario, and I won both those tournaments, which gave me the opportunity to go to London and I won the tournament that was in London. I won my first national championships, won elite national U18, and then national that champion. gave me the opportunity to go to Germany. And I managed to get a bronze medal there. Won uh, the national national championship. Championship. I went Germany. to Italy, I also got second U18 place, and I was really happy. Yes, yes. I'm really proud of. So the Lethbridge Judo Club has had always had a rich uh, tradition with uh, Mr. Senda and, and the program that he was running all those years. And then uh, it transitioned over to the next generation. And the next generation really kind of put a process and a plan that wasn't just about, you know, practicing and seeing what is gonna be done or seeing, you know, maybe these results will happen. The next generation said, hey, let's make a plan that's gonna bring us towards excellence. Let's produce Olympians, let's produce world-class uh, athletes, let's produce the best age group that we possibly can because we have to transfer our athletes over to the national team. So let's get nationally recognized and try to sustain it for the longest period of time. Yoan Beaton, my position is I'm the provincial judo coach for Judo Alberta, and I'm also the regional training center coach here in Lethbridge. Russ Gallant got named as the head coach in 2013 here at the club and been serving that position ever since. Back in the, the 70s, the Lethbridge Judo Club had a few players that were part of the Team Canada, along with the coach, Mr. Senda. So they went to the Olympics. We have a four-time Olympian living right here in Lethbridge, Joe Malley. So I came in right in the middle of the Olympics. Big excitement. The other thing that was kind of cool was, I believe it was 1984, I think that was right around the same time Karate Kid came up, the original Karate Kid. And that's when I noticed so many kids joining martial arts at that time, right? Everybody was the next karate kid. So I remember those things when I, when I was young, seeing how many kids wanted to get involved. So we had a lot of momentum when we were young, a lot of people in the club. From an early age, I always remember 
going to judo practice, and the one thing I always noticed was Mr. Sendo was always there. And as he got older, I noticed he was still there. I know it wasn't convenient for him to always be there, but he was there. I always looked at it and said, if Mr. Sendo can show up to judo, and he's really old, and he's had some health issues, what excuse do I have? So those values of hard work, always being present and trying your best, those values stuck with me. And to this day, every judo practice, I am still there.